Yo, what's going on guys? Riot's here, and like half of you guys owe me money. That's not even a joke. Today we're checking out new extended gameplay, of the or just new extended Atlas gameplay. A bunch of stuff's been released, and there's some epic stuff I want to talk about, like how we're going to be able to breed with other players and have babies, which just sounds so insane. But who, who else was betting that they'd really, or that they'd extend it? It's now been pushed off to the 21st and oh my god are people pissed. Like can we get an F in the chat down below for the hundreds of people doing pre-Atlas live streams all over YouTube and Twitch and other websites that just, <laughs> they just all got, they're rookies. See, I'm an experienced ARC player. I know it's not ARC, but it's from the same studio. I know things are going to be put off. I don't do countdown streams anymore. This ain't my first rodeo. Alright, so make sure to, yeah, get an F in the chat for all those brave souls just who took the risk and got, got struck down. And let's check out this sexy gameplay right here. Keep in mind, this is the extended, so some of the gameplay is going to be familiar from before. Also, no face cam, so I'm going to go live stream in a minute, and I don't have time for that. Dude, so many epic animals. Did you just see that? We'll go back and check it out, but... Oh, horse! Oh, giant bull bison creature! Regular art creatures. I like that <laughs> giant giraffes elephants. Oh Yo, those are some epic looking monkeys This looks insane. I'm so damn excited right now. I can't believe that it's not out. I'm I'm so sad Half of this just looks like an arc mod <laughs> I mean, we've seen this part, it's pretty and all, but uh, I mean, I've, I've, I've been on my fair share of pirate boats. Oh my god, he just charged with a horse onto their boat! That's insane, that's, that's ridiculous. That guy has a, uh, a parrot on his arm. <laughs> it's awesome. Oh my god! Oh, that looks insane. Wow, yeah, when your pirate base comes under siege, it's going to come under siege hard. Good lord. Oh, that's dope. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> Poor guys. That treasure chest didn't come exposed in that much of an uh, amazing way. Oh my god, I'm so excited for so many aspects. Oh my god, go ships! What is that?! Feather dinosaurs! <laughs> I don't even know what to do with my life right now. That's kind of cute. This is Arc Aberration. <laughs> Dolphins. And there's the end game boss right there. Man, sucks this was put off so bad. That's epic. Flamethrower turrets. This all looks pretty damn amazing, but... I'm just sad we're not getting it today. I mean, at least they at least they have this. At least we have something to look at. Thank God. Alright, so there's pretty much the trailer. Oh my god, that was loud. Is this what I sound like? I forgot. I couldn't hear myself speaking the whole time. Alright, so since we're all just super disappointed with everything right now, I'm just gonna go back and look at a few epic things that I noticed a few epic things have been keeping track of. I noticed they didn't mention the whole baby making thing, but I just read about that on some IGN article. It's and There's no photos or anything available yet of what the children are gonna look like, but I just, I, I just feel like it's gonna be so weird. <laughs> Look at this creature right here. They spelt eggs funny. It's it's blurry as hell and I apologize, but there has been over 50 different creatures confirmed for this right here, confirmed for Atlas, which is something I'm very into. I, 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 a big part of my survival games is reliant on creatures. Creatures like this crazy weird ostrich thing, which everything just looks like a prehistoric version of itself. Was that just, is someone just walking there? 
This lady right here, she's just casually out walking her giant snake while this other guy appears to be on his hyenodon slash boar type creature. Pretty epic setting like this. I hope this is the thing. Like, there's just actual cities built into it. So this isn't just reliance on people building. No, there are. There tra there's trade posts and everything. All right, this is like a whole mouthful right here. I feel like horses are a very important thing nowadays. Red Dead made that certain. If we don't have horses, we're not playing. This thing right here, though, this giant yak type creature, way into that. Not to mention, if we rewind another second, I'm just trying to identify, get as many of these creatures as I can. Anything that was missed, basically. I like this little rabbit and crow on the right side of the screen, too. Those kinds of things, I, I don't know, they're not necessarily that crazy or cool, but they give you an environmental vibe, you know? This is crazy, because here we're clearly getting a glimpse of Santa's workshop. Well, I whistled when I said workshop. Look at this, to the left of the frame, you could barely see it right to the, si to the side of our uh, big-footed fellow. Which I love that there's, I mean, it's kind of funny if there's over 50 creatures, but a lot of them are arc creatures. How many of them are new, necessarily? Are they all the ones in the trailer? Is there nothing left to surprise? But yeah, some giant wolf-bear type creature. Actually, it's most likely some sort of polar bear. Definitely. Not a wolf at all. Also in the distance, horse-drawn carriages. That's pretty cool. And I think this chick is carrying a penguin. Also, right here, if you freeze it right before it switches for a split second, you get a glimpse of this actual giant wolf creature in the back that appears to be about twice the size of these penguins, which, I mean, it's pretty cool. Obviously, you gotta have, in an Arctic biome, in an Arctic world, you gotta have some sort of Arctic wolf. I mean, otherwise, you just, especially Ark, they already have the full-on rig animations, everything, of the wolf, it's, it's just, it'd be too easy not to. I mean, it'd be stupid not to. All right, right here we just have this epic giraffe. I love this, dude, this whole Africa setting. Obviously, this raft right here largely resembles the raft from Ark. But elephant too. These monkeys are adorable. Look at this pirate lifestyle. Obviously, if you're gonna be forming pirate gangs, you need the ability to form camaraderie with your teammates, allies. And what better way to do that than getting drunk and dancing around a fire with adorable little monkeys, which I dare to say are way cuter than the ones in Ark. Not to mention this cool parrot. With like feathers extending downward, that might be a giant parrot right there. That's um, again, what kind of who kind of pirate game doesn't have parrots? For a f quick frame, a lot of this is just for a frame. And a lot of this is like stuff I I missed hugely the first time. I could easily make this a, a top ten things you missed. Look at this bird though, right above the grub sign. I, I, I feel like a lot. I mean, obviously, yeah, a big part of it would be birds, especially if you're. Cause there's like crows on top of that thing, and then a giant, that that thing just looks epic right there. And then a monkey there, a horse there, standard creatures. Standard creatures make things feel more realistic. Everything can't be a mystical creature with a bunch of horns and fire breathing. It would just be silly. I feel like right here they're just kind of showing off how similar it is to Ark. This right here seems insane. This is just worth a freeze frame right here because there, I mean, there's, there's giant cyclos coming up all around you. Which I understand also happens when you face the end game creature after you gather all eight artifacts from across the map and then face the giant kraken demonic beast. These kind of cyclones come up as well. I honestly am going to steer right into one of them to see what happens. I love this. There's even a dude playing battle drums down there. There always has to be a dude playing battle drums. Ark better put that in everything. I know this isn't Ark, it's just the same company, it's just, I forget sometimes. This we saw before, these kind of creatures don't really excite me that much. These mythical type beasts, they just don't really get my goat. I feel like I've fought them in video games my whole life. That's why dinosaurs are so amazing. Although Medusa is pretty sexy. Now this we saw before too, the giant whale, not that. These they've been releasing on their Twitter all week. Probably the most insane part of the trailer right here. These freaking, oh my god, but mermaids, man. Mermaids too, these dinosaurs. This looks like some um, center of the earth type stuff where there's just vegetation everywhere. Completely perfected feathered dinosaur. Even a feathered shrike with a fe, oh my god. It's, that, that's, the feathered shrike is just too damn much for me. That's, that's where I lose my socks. And then of course, there's some sort of flyer. I don't want to kind of predict what species it is until I see what its face looks like. I think we could all predict it though because Ark sticks to the same general things. This right here though, man. Only for a split second though we get to see him. I'm all, he just punch a mermaid in the face? How'd I miss that? Yo, this boat construction looks like the most complex thing on the planet. I think I also saw the uh, dolphin and giant swordfish right there. No point going back to that. And the end game boss. 
with lightning striking out all around him. Look at this fleet. This is going to be me and my subscribers right here. Just dying and killing each other. But it'll be lovely. I had to watch this part again. That was just too cool. And then, of course, the dragons, wyverns, whatever you want to call them. Drakes. I imagine flying creatures are going to be the most important. And there's the shark. The flying creatures are going to be most important for sure because it's a pirate game. A big part of it is naval battles. And what else is going to help out in a naval battle besides a, a, a goddamn dragon? All in all, I'm pretty damn excited for it. It looks amazing. I'm very freaking sad that they pushed it off, but I'm actually kind of happy at the same time. It was so much, it was just annoying as hell the way they did it before. Where, where the extinction, where it just released, like, they put it, they pushed it back two hours every other hour, and it was just this endless misery we all went through. That was super fun. So yeah, make sure to follow me on those things. Most importantly, follow me on, I guess, anything, really, because I'm going to want to form a giant, uh, just, just a world with you guys, a civilization. It'll be amazing. But we got to do it together, and we got to be following each other on stuff to know where to go. All right, everybody, leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Peace!